Welcome. This is the men's talk show. Today we're in a different location. We are in Tete Wine and Groom. It is always exciting to come to your homes and speak to you about things and issues that relate to men. With me here is my colleague, Stephen, Coach Stephen. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, good evening, and welcome our viewers. This is a fantastic time to do this, and uh, we continue to bring you the best and only the best for the men. Absolutely. We care about men. Sometimes we, we uh, as being men and being leaders in society, sometimes we focus on the girl child and we focus on our ladies and taking care of them. And sometimes nobody really thinks about the man. The man, the, the boys, uh, the, boy the gentlemen, child. the boy child. You know, we, we equally also need that help and push. It's not always, you know, you know there's nobody who comes in to tell us what to do or that. How to handle a situation and, and, and but here we are. We talking still have to men. make things happen, and we're talking about men, and it's important for us. For example, we need to talk about men on how they do their love language. We need to talk about men on how the drug abuse happens. Yeah. We need to talk about men how they run their families, how they, right? how families. they face issues of drug yeah, abuse in yeah. their home. We have to talk about men tonight. As a matter of fact, yeah. we we have very exciting segments coming. So please stay on to the end of the program yeah. because we'll talk about tribalism. Yeah. And uh, I had an opportunity to sit down with uh, Smata Asmata and we spoke about tribalism and he went into detail. These are the responsibilities of men to put society right, to right. provide yeah. leadership. And leadership is not just at the presidential level. Yeah. No, no, no. It's at the level in the home. Mm. What these issues that affect society, men must provide leadership in the home. In the home. Then we will talk about love language yeah. with Doc, love Doc Francis in the spa. Spa. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful topic that you want to to stay and and talk about. What's the other topic we are dealing with? The other topic we're talking about drug abuse, and we we, we, we took time to discuss uh, this this topic with uh, Matthias um, Matthias Kamanga from uh, the Deck uh, Drug Enforcement Commission, and he gave us a broad picture of what really happens and how the Drug Enforcement Commission helps um, and is, and I've got a program for parents to help them to put their erring children or any child that has gone into drug abuse to put them in, in track. So this is a fantastic program you want to watch. If you have a child that has been abusing alcohol, has been abusing uh, smoke, uh, chamber or any of those things, has been abusing any other uh, medicine that you give them, uh, prescribed or non-prescribed medicine, Kamanga comes in and gives us a solution and a roadmap. I had a fantastic moment with Kamanga and we hope to see this happen. And uh, we had a chance. You know what, Stephen? Yeah. Instead of just preempting everything, yeah. let's go uh, to uh, Urban Yard yeah. in Kalundu, yeah. where uh, Stephen had a chat with, uh, with Mr. Kamanga from DEC. <laughs> Grooming is an important part of our lives. When preparing for the main talk late night show, we go to Tete Wine and Groom. To discuss this issue, I have um, a very important man with me from the Drug Enforcement Commission, uh, Mr. Matis Kamanga. Mr. Kamanga, please welcome to the show, sir. Thanks very much. It's great to be part of the men's talk. Fantastic. Sure. We, we, we want to look at the situations where uh, we can get information out of the drug information, uh, drug, um, you call yourself DEC, Drug, drug Enforcement, Enforcement, Enforcement Commission. Commission. Yes. Fantastic. Sure. Fantastic. I almost got my tongue there. Whether I'm scared about being arrested or not, you know, you need to be. Uh, Unfortunately, in, uh, we have that reputation, but yeah, but we need to change that. Fa also. Fantastic for being friendly. <laughs> so my first question to you, sir, is what is drug abuse? Okay, so uh, let me start by defining abuse. Abuse is a combination of two words, mm -hmm. uh, which is abnormal and usage. Correct. So when you put them together, it's abuse, abnormal use. Mm -hmm. So drug abuse, when you add the drug there, it uh, simply refers to the abnormal use of drugs. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a normal use of drugs, as you may uh, understand, and as everyone may know, because uh, 
when you're sick, you have a headache or something, you need a Panadol, you need a painkiller, you need something. So there is a normal use for drugs, for some drugs. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, be specific. Mm -hmm. So abnormal use, abuse, comes in when you begin to use the drugs in an abnormal way, in a way that is not prescribed. Right. For instance, uh, if it is a proper drug that you are supposed to use, that you can buy off the counter. Like codeine. Like, uh, well, before we get to codeine, codeine yeah. let's start with Panadol. Panadol, okay. And then you begin to take more than what has been prescribed. Even, even, even Panadol becomes an abuse. Even Panadol you... can be abused. Fantastic. Now, drugs are at three different levels. There is mm. the normal one which you can buy even off the counter. Mm. Then there is what we call the controlled one, mm. where you need a prescription for you doctor's to get prescription. it. Doctor's prescription. Mm. The reason they give a prescription, it's because that particular drug is a little more highly addictive mm. than the first category. Mm. And so, uh, that's where you find things like Valium, mm. Uh, mm. which is diazepam. You yeah. find uh, morphine, mm. uh, which they only use in theaters and the like to reduce uh, high pain and the like. Yes. Um, and then there is the, the ones that are prohibited. The prohibited ones are those ones where you do not have any excuse or any reason to be found with such drugs. Uh, and at the moment, um, uh, cannabis is one of them. One of them. Uh, yeah. Heroin is one of them. And Can uh, a doctor always. prescribe cannabis? No, they cannot. Okay. Uh, okay. Not even with the coming in of the new law, the new law yeah, where yeah. there is uh, the legalization of uh, the farming of, it. Of, or, yes, of uh, of farming uh, cannabis for yeah. medicinal purposes. Fantastic. Uh, that law was enacted but it was not given a commencement debt. So meaning that it is still legal still, yeah, for yeah. anyone to cultivate cannabis at the uh, moment. Allow me to ask you another question. Where are, is drug abuse a real problem in Africa? It or is it just in Zambia where we, we, we have it? It is. It is a real problem across Africa and specifically in Zambia. In mm. Zambia, we started off as a transit point where mm -hmm. drugs would come from Europe, they would go to... Uh, to, to South Africa or they would come from South Africa and they would go to Europe and the other mm. uh, places mm. but it has now become a consumer mm. where drugs are being produced some of them here mm -hmm. and others are being exported out of this country and others are being abused right in this uh, right, in right, this, right in this yeah. country and, and I know that uh, the, 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 the DC are doing a lot of work about it to try and reduce this issue and a lot of people get arrested and all that yeah. but what helped is available to families in the event that uh, there is a drug abuse in the homes, like uh, my house, or your house, or Percy's house, or Brian's house. Yeah. Uh, we, we, you have a child, and that child has been drinking alcohol from alcohol, maybe mixing chamber and all that. What help is there from Drug Enforcement Commission? Okay, so now um, let me start by mentioning the law that we enforce in terms of the drug space, mm -hmm. which is the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act, mm -hmm. number 35 of uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. This law was uh, enacted early this year, mm -hmm. and the beauty of this law is that even, okay, even before we had the powers to do the counseling and rehabilitation, mm -hmm. but it was not enshrined in the, in the, in the, in the law. But uh, starting early this year, this has become law for the Drug Enforcement Commission to offer prevention, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, treatment, mm -hmm. and rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. So the prevention programs that we have are for us to educate the masses mm -hmm. on the dangers of drug abuse. Mm -hmm. The treatment aspect is where when you have a child or anyone that is uh, hooked to drugs, mm -hmm. you can bring them forth so that we can assist them, we can offer them counseling services, we can mm. offer them some treatment to a certain extent. And in mm. this regard, we work with uh, the University Teaching Hospital, we work with Chinama mm. and other health, uh, health institutions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that treatment that we offer is free of charge. Fantastic. So you just bring the child, we come up with a program, and as they adhere to that program and they go through uh, we pray that at the end of it all, mm. they actually get out uh, of that problem. So far, we've had a very good success rate. Uh, I think from the beginning of the year up to now, we have cancelled about 777 wow, wow, uh, wow. people. You mean all these? Yes, definitely. And wow. uh, that's across the country. Mm. And uh, in terms of relapses, we only had one, one. that okay. we have recorded so far. So, so mm. it's, uh, it's quite a good... Uh, so you're being effective. So, 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 it's 99 percent yes yes we are doing quite well in that uh, in that regard fantastic and so the other aspect now which is the rehabilitation remember mm. i said prevention yeah. treatment yeah. and rehab rehabilitation. Mm. Uh, we do not currently have a, 
a, a rehab center where mm. we can take people for rehabilitation. Mm. Um, but we are trying to build one. Mm. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are given some land about a thousand hectares in uh, in Chinga province, mm. where we will be constructing a national rehab center. Mm. And this rehab center will assist us in ensuring that we don't only uh, conduct rehabilitation facilities, mm. but we also offer skills transfer facilities where mm. we can train uh, whoever is uh, hooked to drugs so in skills. Yeah, because basically they, 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 they are not busy with something. So they that, get that's busy where, with that's drugs. That's what the biggest problem is actually. Yeah. It's because you are having people that have so much time mm. on their hands. And especially when you talk about the youth who are supposed to be employed and are not in employment. Mm -hmm. uh, they have too much time on their hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, like they say, uh, an idle mind is a, a devil's workshop. A devil's workshop. You find yeah. these ideas start coming through as they are watching TV. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, our artists uh, do not make it so easy because mm -hmm. they'll look uh, probably smoking uh, marijuana looks so cool. So They'll cool in the video, so cool yeah, yeah. In the video, and people want to try it out. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to appeal to uh, those of us that are that have this influence mm. to use it positively Fantastic. because as you are doing that mm. you do not know how many people you are reaching out to uh, and as you are reaching out to those people you are mm. creating a future the future of this country which is embedded in the youth that are growing up in our society in, in, in conclusion um, how can a parent watching us right now reach you be able to get in touch with you incognito you know well where they can go and say, look, I have a problem. Yeah. It's not for public consumption. It's mm -hmm. just you and the parent. How can they reach you? Uh, first and foremost, before I go to how they can reach us, mm -hmm. there is the aspect where we have a program to train parents mm -hmm. in uh, family and parenting skills. Fantastic. Now, you understand that it's uh, not easy to uh, identify when a child I, yeah, is, yeah, uh, is going into drugs this, yeah. um, in the first place if mm -hmm. you do not have the skills. Mm -hmm. And so as a commission, we have a, pro a program targeted at parents. So mm. we go to churches, to different groupings, and we bring parents together. Mm. We teach them on what traits can they look out for mm. uh, to, in their children uh, that can indicate that a child is on drugs or mm. maybe uh, hooked on drugs. Mm. Mm. And also to give them some lessons so that you have somewhere to start from when you are talking to your children about drug mm. abuse. Mm. Uh, this is a subject that must be talked about at every time. Mm -hmm. um, I think most of us look at our children as being saints. Uh, in That's a problem. Cases. That's a problem. Yeah, and we you, want you, to wait exactly. to a certain age. There's a certain age and, and, and all that. You know, yeah. And yet these are children that are exposed to, to so uh, much. television, mm -hmm. to social media mm -hmm. and all these things. And they are seeing these things mm -hmm. from these places. Mm -hmm. And so the longer you wait, the more danger you have in your house of having this case. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're having this problem, please contact us. Mm -hmm. Whatever information Information you share with us is confidential. The, uh, the, the counseling that we do is done in, in highly uh, confidential environments mm -hmm. where we do not disclose any details. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to get in touch with us, you can call us on 0955 684343, 0955 684343, or indeed 0211 mm -hmm. 255114. And somebody will, uh, will actually attend to you so that you can uh, uh, you can get the help that you need uh, in this regard. Mr. Matthias Kamanga uh, discusses with us the drug abuse. Hey, welcome back. But before we continue, I just have a word of inspiration for men. You know, the, the one thing that we need to uh, appreciate about men is that they take the burden for society. Yeah. So if you're a man out there and you feel maybe you're not appreciated, maybe you way. feel that, that you're working yeah. too hard and no one is not no seeing, I, I would like you to know that sometimes all that matters is the results that you bring. Got it. Uh, many times people will talk, people will, you know, will, will expect appreciation in terms of words, but I'll tell you what, find your, uh, find your comfort in the change and in the impacts that you're bringing. As you raise your family, as, as you provide leadership in the community, in the church, maybe at the workplace, maybe in your political oh, party, wherever you are, it may look insignificant, but someone is being inspired. A life is being changed. Be inspired by the impact that you're bringing. We talk so much about the KL child. We talk so much about 
women's rights, and very few people pay attention to the burden that a man carries. The Men's Talk Show for men and the women that love them. Let's go and deal with an issue of tribalism. I personally, I always wonder what's going on in this yeah, society. Yeah, what's going on in this When we're talking society. about tribalism. Stephen, do you know that in my home, it's very difficult for my children to even say which tribe which they Which tribe they belong? Yeah, yeah, I know you Because my, my grandfather, my yeah. grandfather was in Develi. Yeah. My grandmother on, on my dad's side was was was, was Lamba. And yeah, she, was actually, yeah. she was actually half Lamba, half Kaunde. My mother is also coming from a mixed couple. Uh, yeah, and yeah. my wife is and not the same wife, tribe as, as you. So now we don't, what are, what tribe is our children? Exactly. So the, 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 the conversation around tribalism and the way we've tried to use tribalism yeah. for political gain. You know, smear it with something yeah. nice and what, let's call it it's black and white, it's useless. Yeah. Let's it's talk, about, talk about it. We are one tribe and that's Zambia. Exactly. And even when we talk about balancing, what are you In balancing? Fact, we are 72 we are African. tribes. We are 72 tribes in this country. So you cannot have the cabinet, which is 32, uh, 32, uh, 32 seats available, and then you say you're balancing. What are you balancing? What's the difference between 32 and 72? Let's not talk about anything. Let's just say that Zambian, we all must be Zambian, and we must we be are Zambian, just Zambian, and one but, tribe but Stephen, Zambian. But Stephen, I would like yeah. to take it further. Mm -hmm. We are not just Zambian. Yeah. We are African. We are African. All that matters is that we are, we are African. Yeah. And, and Africans are not just black. Yeah. They are Africans of... Of, of Asian origin, yeah, 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 Caucasian yeah, origin. Yeah. Some have been born here. Yeah. Color of your skin yeah. doesn't matter. The language you speak doesn't matter. What matters is that you're on there, on 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 on, on yeah. Mother Africa. Mother Africa. You are African. And so let's talk uh, to Smarter Smarter again. Yeah, yeah. We had a beautiful conversation. Mm. I spoke to Smarter Smarter again at Urban Yard. Mm. Mr. Smarter Smarter, it's uh, Smarter Smarter. Mr. Smarter Smarter. <laughs> You know, I'm just coming back from Western Province. I was mm. in Mongo for a few days. It was exciting. I learned a few lousy words. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like Shangwe. <Okay. laughs> <Or> Shangwe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thank you for joining us on the men's talk show. Mm. Uh, today, we want to talk about tribalism. Mm. In the last few weeks in Zambia, it's been the, it's be, it's been the topic. Mm. And I've been following you on your Facebook page because you know we've been friends for a long time and i see you talking about tribalism is tribalism a real issue in zambia or it's just politics it's a real issue worldwide it's not just in zambia or africa it's everywhere and some of the root causes of wars and the trouble that you find is because of it yeah mm. so it's a real thing what, what 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 are your if you compare what is happening in Zambia and what we have seen in history from Rwanda for example, do you think we would be in danger of heading that direction? I'll put it this way: I believe that Zambia is built on two faults, major catastrophic faults, which if they erupt, mm. we will have problems. One of them is tribalism, and the other one is the Barossaland Agreement. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, that other one for another time. But the point mm. is that unless we have a truth and reconciliation on the uh, Barossaland Agreement, mm. it's, it's a fault. Mm. It's, it's almost like San Francisco mm. that, that has been built on a, a crack in the, in the earth mm. and any time it could erupt. Mm. Tribalism is the other one. Uh, for a long time we have not dealt with it straight. We've introduced words like tribal balancing. Mm. Uh, to me, those are misnomers. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean tribal balance? Where can you balance tribe? Mm. Uh, what is uh, tribal balancing? Is the substitution of a lozi uh, for a Tonga tribal balancing? Is substitution of a Bemba uh, for an I, uh, a Lala, an Ila tribal balancing? We don't know what we're talking about. We've never known. Why? Because nobody has ever measured what is tribal balancing. And Kaunda tried. He tried to keep us thinking he's balancing. But if you look at his first cabinet in 1964, out of 16, there were four losses. Is that tribal balancing? Mm. And in a sense, my picture in my mind is that he actually did a lot of clean the carpet and the rubbish underneath. Mm. And then the FTJ comes in the um, uh, situation. Mm. All he did was to lift the, 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 the carpet. 
And uh, since then, really, we've just been talking around it. And um, it's that. What can it's we do? What can we do? What does, what do we as families need First to do? First of all, I think we need to accept that tribe is a God-given, huh? like, like family, like skin color. Uh, did you apply to God? No, 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 absolutely. Did you apply absolutely to God? No. Absolutely for no. Your tribe? No, 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 absolutely. No, it's no. a given. You know, sometimes I think I should have been born in Brazil. <laughs> it would have been so nice to be no, in Brazil no, in me summer. I'm happy with <laughs> me, I'm happy with his I am a proud am, Zambian. Let it be known. I'm happy that he chose uh, Silozi or mm. the language Silozi for me. Uh, I have never regretted it. Never. Fantastic. Yeah, there's so, only one moment. Yes, now, now, again, uh -huh. I still feel the issue of tribalism is something that we deal with in ignorance. Would you agree? Because yes. uh, think about it. Uh, there are people like Simon Mwansaka Puepue who feel that they were undermined because of, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and it is, Everybody yes, feels that way. Yes. A lot of laws is speaking people. A lot of laws is speaking people, and especially politicians I've met, really feel like the losses have not been, ever been given that opportunity. I've heard it from even Bemba speaking people, I've heard it from Tonga speaking people. So all Why is everybody complaining? Well, because of this misnomer, tribal balancing. Are you with me? Yeah. So when, when there are appointments, for instance, in the country, 10, so people do not think of 10 good, hardworking uh, result producers. No, they think of... Hmm? What tribe is he? How many tribes are here? But my, my, my brother, where, where does it stop? For instance, we have uh, a lousy speaking person in the Minister of Finance. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. But if you go to Western Province itself, there are 33 d uh, tribes. Mm. Is he coming from only one of them? Exactly. So the other 32 are not happy mm. that they are not in the cabinet. Also. Mm. You, you get the point? And we can't have and, 72 and when, people in the cabinet. Ah, where does it stop? Let's just look for good people that are result-oriented that will take this country forward. Absolutely. There is a place for tribe. It's a linkage. Just like families. Yeah. Did you choose your family? No, no, no. You didn't apply to I'm just them. like I have good parents. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you see the point. Now, if you're going to use that fortunate position you've got against other families, mm. you're practicing an ism. Mm. You mm. see that? Mm. There's nothing wrong with tribe. What is wrong is ism, yes. tribalism. Yes. That is where I begin to judge you on the basis of your, of tribe. your tribe. Then I'm practicing tribalism. Yeah. You, you get the point. Yeah. But it's a danger, isn't it? It's a useless Borobo danger. Borobo. Borobo. It's, it's a useless danger. Where do you think, stop? think about it. In my home, yeah. we don't even know what tribe we are because my <laughs> grandfather was a different tribe. My grandmother on my father's side was a different tribe. One my of my daughters, I said to her, Honey, what tribe are you? She said, Lozi. Said, you, you are Lozi. What word do you know in Lozi? He says, but that's my father's tribe. You, you see? No. And then tomorrow she'll be discriminated because of her surname? Yeah, when she can't even speak yeah. the language. So even when it comes to appointments, I am a strong believer that the president should be allowed to choose the right people for the right job. Mm. So on the five years from today when we blame him, it's his fault. Mm. Not not where those people came from. Absolutely. There's been a secular or a, le a list of names going around of PSAs and diplomats and mostly came from, uh, in brackets, Eastern and the Northern uh, Province. Then I said to myself, uh -huh, we'll see what will happen. If you remove those people from the list based on the fact that they're coming from Eastern or Northern, you're a tribalist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're practicing because your intentions, yeah, your intentions are because we remove them from that list based on competence, mm. results. Did they perform in oh, the no. jobs that they were given? Yes. Now, if they are still there, everybody else should wait mm. unless you create more jobs. Are you with me? That's right. And then, too, I was giving the example of my big brother and my former lecturer and teacher mm. uh, in the Ministry of Finance. Mm. Let's assume tomorrow. He resigns or is fired. Mm. God forbid he dies. Mm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. uh, so the president then immediately. He's got an economy to oh, fix. Yes. <laughs> uh, the president immediately decides no, 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 there is a, a branch of here who can do this job. Mm. Immediately, that is not tribal balancing. Yeah. 
So we can we cannot so entertain. Are we dealing with this thing? Yeah, we cannot entertain the idea of tribal balance. Yeah. If someone is competent, mm. in fact, as we go towards the end, it brings me to the issue of of partisanship as well. That's a tribe, by the way. Exactly. Uh, parties are tribes. Yeah. Why? Why? What do I mean? If you look up the word tribe, it's actually a linkage. The other word you can use is linkage. Yes. Yes. Linkage on what? Social, economic, culture, religion. Yeah, yeah. For instance, churches. Churches are tribes. Yeah. yeah are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. You're that's Catholic. a that's a true definition of tribe. I'm Pentecostal. Yes. 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 You, you are Jehovah's Witness. Mm. Those are tribes. Mm. Now, the moment I begin to look down on Catholics, on Jehovah's Witnesses, that's, that's based a nature on of my tribe. As a Pentecostal, mm. are you with me? Mm. That is the tribalism. tribalism. And if, by the way, the tribalism we should watch against in this country, which is even much more thicker eh, than the one based on language mm. and social background and, re and region, mm. is the partisanship. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, that one is bitter. Because recently I was so excited to hear that... Uh, that, that, that there will be no political parties in stations and, 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 and markets. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly we are hearing they are going back. Now, you are wondering which party is going to be allowed in the stations and which party is going yeah, to be yeah, allowed... Here's my little caution to you. From Partisanship. all the days from UNIP to this day, in the ruling party, you do, you'll always find a multitude. Mm. <laughs> Each party, UNIP had one, MMD had them, PF had them, now UPND who may want to go against uh, policy. Are you with me? Mm. Uh, but they'll be so, he'll be sorted out and placed. I mean, the, yesterday's pres uh, the president's address addressed the issue. Mm. So now it's underground. Mm. Uh, are you with me? Now, when you are going because to Because that's, that's the nature. That mm. is how partisanship begins to rear its ugly head. Where you have... And, and this or, is... The, or, or even if I am appointed tomorrow, mm. then uh, ever ah, he was not UPND, this one. He was even against. He mm. was a PF cadre. That is tribalism. Mm. They are practicing tribalism against me. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you need to be given, even if you are DP or UNIP or. You can perform. If you can perform, job, you can be given a that, job by any political what party. What tribe is the food when it reaches your stomach? What <laughs> tribe is the shelter? <laughs> food what is protein. Is the job? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm yes. asking. Yeah. What tribe are those things? Yeah, they, they don't know no tribe. Ah, are you with me? Yeah. In fact, I like to, when I'm chatting with friends, I say, guys, what tribe are street kids? Mm. Mm. Are you with because me? Because life happens to everybody. Right. So, yeah. if, if I don't care whether you are one of the 71 or you are non-tribal, mm. what I care most is that I have water in my home, you know, I have peace. Mm. Yeah, I have. These are the things I care. And these are the things that unite us. And whoever is given that job to do, that's what I'm going to use as a thermometer of his uh, yes. test. Because that, that should be the measure of Not leadership. Tribe. Yes. yes. Uh, by the way, there's also negative tribalism. Mm. Where now, for instance, uh, President HH, my, my other cousins will start feeling like they are not getting jobs. He's qualified for the job, but he will not get it because mm. he's stronger. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is negative tribalism. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true. You, you see a point? I, I remember once asking for a job somewhere. And, uh, a few weeks later, I was told, no, your brother said I can't give you the job because if he does, you will, you, he will be seen to be a tribalist. That was negative. That's the only time I regretted yeah. being lousy, you know? <laughs> because I needed the job. You, you, yeah. you, you get the point? But wow. So, this well, well, this this can be a conversation that that, that I think one of these days, as the main uh, talk show travels around the villages and into the national parks and looking at beautiful areas where we want to take the show, we should go together. Probably in Wuloziland, somewhere but, near but, the bridge. By the way, we Kwangwa and Kwangwa also complain. Yeah. I think I know of only four, two Kwangwa uh, ministers from independence. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, honestly speaking, I don't think, I don't think. Uh, it is it is healthy no, it for isn't. this country to it's a cancer, to be made, my, yes, a my, cancer. My, my good friend and the cancer should be sorted out the moment it appears that's right are you with me okay yeah. unfortunately we always have limited time for <laughs> topics on this show grooming 
is an important part of our lives. When preparing for the main talk late night show, we go to Tete Wine and Groom. Welcome back. After such a wonderful discussion from Smata Asmata, uh, discussing the issue of tribalism and putting it as straight as it is. So we have one tribe, Zambian. And we must be proud to be Zambian. We must be proud to be African. Let's build our Zambia and focus our energy towards what is important and developmental. All right? Talking about this and that doesn't help. Forget about it. For now, we need to focus and refocus our mind towards what is right. So, we took time to discuss love language. What is love language? How do we harness the love language? We've seen so many families and so many divorces happening and so many uh, single parents and single mothers, but there must be some love language between couples that are surviving the question and is, couples that are coming. What is love, love language? language? And Stephen, yeah. when we come back, yeah. I want us to talk about what your prominent love language is. Yeah, yeah, and I'll probably yeah. hint on what the prominent love language that I understand clearly or I speak in clearly. Probably because, you, need, you need to give me your, your, also your wife's love language. Uh, we'll we'll yeah. see if you get yeah. like a yeah. statement. But at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Love Dog yeah. broke it down for broke us. It down. I had That's an opportunity to discuss this with uh, Love Dog. Let's have uh, uh, a look at what, what Love Dog did. Uh, on our relationship segment, we discuss issues to do with love language. All right. Uh, so uh, Love Doc has proposed, or oh, a lot of a lot of uh, relationship experts have proposed about five uh, uh, five love languages that we could uh, focus on and discuss and see how it helps. The idea behind this is that we want to see how you can develop your relationships and how men can become better and how women can also do better for men. And so to discuss this momentous and wonderful uh, 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 topic, I have. Love Doc in the house. This is no other than Francis Ngenda Mutompei, as we call him. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to the city. Thank you so much, uh, Coach Steven. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks for having me here. To begin with, when we discuss issues to do with love language, what are we? What are we talking? What do we mean, love language? So, uh, like you mentioned in your preamble, a lot of um, love uh, coaches, relationship coaches. Uh, marriage coaches have uh, coined um, languages that kind of control the the, 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 the relationship of, of, of two people. Of course, we're talking uh, male and female. Mm. And some writers uh, came up with even some books on love languages. Yeah. Yeah. And they came up with five. Yeah. Okay. And the five are words of affirmation, mm, mm. Uh, acts of service, mm, mm. Um, quality time, mm. and touch. Mm. And then gifts. Okay. Then gifts. Mm. Yes. So, can we, can we elaborate each one of them, what do what, what we mean by them? Of course. Uh, if, if we are looking at uh, acts of affirmation, yeah. it's where you've, I'm pretty sure we've heard uh, women complain to say when I'm coming from the salon, salon no one, no one me. tells me anything, you know, probably wherever she was coming, yeah. the Caponias were like ah, mm. nah, I'm one of our sisters or oh, nah. hey. you know what I mean, so she's, all the way. she's getting these acts of affirmation from somewhere else, mm. Mm. and these are things that people in relationships must make sure that they do, mm. they give acts of, they affirm they affirm about beauty, they affirm about all those things that you used to say when, because when you are, when we are, we, we are, we are eyeing this woman, mm. there are certain things because we know that women fall in love by hearing. You know what I mean? Hearing, not by receiving. No, no, no. <laughs> receiving was like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So we we tend to tell them, mm. oh, your eyes are so beautiful. I like your lips. I like. And then when they are ours, we stop saying these things. Mm. Someone else starts saying these things, and they. Definitely fall in love with this person. With this person so again. we need to maintain then the ways of affirmation. Yes, that's the reason why they say maintain the fact uh, of whatever you were doing when you were dating. Fantastic. Maintain dating. So you, you continue. I, I don't know if I can mention this. There's a, there's a certain politician. I don't know. I need to call him one day to see if I can use him to talk about it. He has maintained the dating. He paints Facebook with it. He loves his woman. <laughs> you know, it's like he's yes. the only, like, only Zambian in love. <laughs> 
he, you, you know. And that, that, that's but good. We can mention I know, his name for now. I, I know, of course, that, uh, of course, people use these uh, love languages differently. Yeah. Some people want to put it out there on social media. And there's, there is an argument, a school of thought. By the way, um, I've never seen you uh, post your wife. Of course. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. Some people would, would not want to use social media yeah, to as, affirm. Okay. Because at the end of the day, they still affirm. They still give these uh, affirmations to their partners, partners away from social media. Yeah. Sometimes using it for social media is like you're trying to cover up some something. You something. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling the it's world. It's like reverse psychology of something. You know what I mean? You're telling the world that doesn't even care about your, your marriage, your relationship. You mm, know what I mean? Mm. Of course, uh, as a love dog, probably I need to encourage some people. Correct. You know what I mean? Mm. But for his, for a fact, I do affirm. I do give affirmations to my wife. Act of service. Act of service. There are a lot of. Uh, uh, things that both men and women need to do uh, for their partners. Uh, look, when you have money and you are passing through um, uh, a mall, you know, some shops in town, and then you see this lovely shirt, you see this lovely tie, you see this lovely dress, you see this lovely necktie, you need to think of your partner. You know what I mean? Oh, she would look nice in this dress. Oh, my hubby would look nice in this shirt. And if you have got money, buy. You know what I mean? Buy that. I know that it, it falls in gifts, mm. but you are doing a service because once you look nice, coach, on TV like this, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. There are a lot of things that we need to do. Are you picking your woman from work? Yeah. You know, for lunch? Mm. Are you picking your woman from... Sometimes, even if you've got two vehicles, pack one and just Are you do helping her to service. cook or are you helping clean her up? To cook? Are you helping her to wash? Because in most cases, these days, women will be like, no, me, I can't be a maid for my husband. You know what I mean? Mm. But... You are, what you're trying to say here is that I cannot do, do service, service to this man. Yes, because this is your first priority. Not your child, not your mother, not your father. Your husband is your first, first priority. priority. You are the one that you are one with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the acts of gifts, let's talk about it. So, it's so close to acts of service. Yes, mm. are, it's, it's close, of course. Uh, but gifts now is where you definitely buy stuff for your partner, you mm. think. You know, I, I, I had a very good friend of mine. Mm. So each time we go somewhere, if we buy lollipops, lollipops. Mm, mm, mm. It's all right. <laughs> Lolli it's all, it's all right. Lollipops. Lollipops. Yeah. lollipops. Yeah. You know, he would suck the, 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 the just half of or no, not uh, half, half of, of it, it and keep that the rest the for the wife. Whatever we buy, if it's crisps, you eat some. Okay, that's that's. A, uh, yeah. Are we are we thinking about COVID? Are we thinking about uh, diseases or something? No, no, no. Whether it's there's COVID or not, this fact is you still need to kiss your wife. You still need to hug your wife. You still need to sleep with your wife. We, are we, you going we, to we, run away from all these things? We need clarity from uh, Minister of Health are you to going, tell us whether we should. Uh, are you going to run away from all these things because of these diseases? You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. You are one at the end of the day. So fantastic. He would keep all these things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Each time we, you are with him. When he sees something nice that he thinks the wife would appreciate too, even when people are passing these guys who sell shoes and oh, yeah. he sees shoes will be like, mm, my wife would look nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, this is love. I know. So basically, you are preoccupied with your partners. So. Yes. When you see things that matter to your partner, you know what I mean. Mm. But in most cases, we always want to downplay that, and we always want to to kill it by saying, ah, I'm just an I have a yeah. uh, under pitch court or something. Yes, you know what yeah, I mean? Quality, quality time. What do we mean by I quality, mean, quality time? Quality time. In most cases, we spend time with our friends and we spend minimal time with our partners. But we need to create this quality time because quality time mm. creates memories. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Even when you, maybe you are sick or you, and the unfortunate happens, you die. Yeah, yeah. These are the moments that now your partner starts uh, 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 remembering and yes, missing. Yes, but if you don't spend quality time with your partner, what memories so, are you so creating? So probably, what, what causes heart heartbreak is, is quality time, yeah? In most cases, um, of course, it's a combination of these love languages. All, all these, all these. Yes, yeah. but if you don't spend time with your partner, you are departing away from each other. Fantastic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you are creating a void, mm -hmm. which someone somewhere is going to come and uh, 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 replace. Yes. So it's it becomes going, a vacancy. It's going to occupy. The, uh, uh, the language touch. Of course, um, touch is very important. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've visited couples. They have a lot of chairs or sofas in this mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. but they'll sit together. Mm -hmm. You are seated alone there, and they're busy touching each other. You see the hand is in the shade. You know? The, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, well, um... But at the end of the day, I realized, so well, 
that's the way they connect. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And all these love languages. They I, I, I want to put you on the spot. Have you ever heard of a person you meet them? The wife is two meters away from them or three meters away. They are walking, and then and then and then, and then they, they have no option but to introduce a wife. And then they go like, "This is my wife." Imagine. So do they practice the the touch? <laughs> well, uh, once someone introduces their partner like that, I would tell that there are a lot of there issues lot of and love language missing. Need, yes, they need counseling. They need to be talked to. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people, more especially here in Zambia, need to be talked to about marriage because they just think marriage is just about staying with someone. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. nothing. You don't do things for your partner. I, I can't wake up at zero four to put water for my for partner. Him and I can't cook for my partner. We need to find a mate. And I've always said a maid is very important, but don't let your maid be the place. Priority. You know what I mean? They the, replace the wife. The act of service. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's the reason why some people end up getting their maids because this is a person that is doing a lot of service mm. to the husband. While you, as a wife, it's like you have a garden boy and he's the one who buys presents, the mm. one who mm. provides. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Then what's the purpose of you being a husband in that home? What do you think is the most prominent love language? among his African men. And also, what is your uh, love language? I wanna, so, so what's your prominence? I, I think prominence with men is Black, touch. Yeah, African, African touch, men. Touch. And not, not the touch that is building. Uh, the, 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 yes. Is, this is the touch that is, when they just want satisfying to have, Yes, they, they the just moment. want to, to have sex. So okay, to say. Okay, you know what I mean? Okay. After that, there's no more touch. There's nothing. So, mm. to me, I think it's all last. Okay. You know what I mean? It's mm. all last. We, we must be mindful that uh, uh, probably uh, this love language of, 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 of touch should be for couples, I think. You know, married, we, married we, people. We, we, of course, we are not we, denying when, the fact whatever that Whatever we do when we are dating mm. develops okay. you know, into something good when you marry. So, of course, you can touch when you are dating, but you don't go beyond. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. You only go beyond when you get married. <laughs> so, what is your love language? Love your lang prominent I think, one. That I, I think acts of affirmation. Okay. Um, I've not departed uh, from that. From that, um, you still tell the wife you look nice, baby. Beautiful, beautiful eyes, beautiful lips. Beautiful she's watching. Hair. She's gonna watch you know this I mean? one. Yes, of yeah, course. Uh, fantastic. Because she's beautiful, and yeah, it doesn't change when you get married to them. To them, yeah. Yes. So you need to continue telling them because mm. your children now will take over. And mommy, you look pretty. Mommy, you, you are just quiet. You are just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. And Wakaponya also take. What over. is your last word advice to men? Uh, over this love language. So men must make sure that they read, they check uh, about these love languages and practice them. Practice they them. need to practice this. And you know, in most cases, women, genuine women, respond. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like submission. Mm. A woman responds, submits to the love she's been given. Mm. So when you do these acts of, of, of love languages, mm. women respond accordingly and you create that relationship that you want. This is uh, the men's talk show. That was a tantalizing <laughs> conversation <laughs> yeah. on love languages. Love language. and, and, and I'm so excited because many of us men mm. tend to pull back. Man, when you look at it, stay quiet and do nothing. It, it, well, it's a very nice setting to talk about love language. Uh, Abaniak, man. Absolutely. Fantastic Abba, place. Let, let me just give a shout out yeah. to Abaniak. Uh, Blue and stuff. Kalundu. Yeah. On uh, what's the name of the road? Uh, Lucy Wasi, I think. Lucy Wasi. I, I am not sure if I've pronounced the word correctly. The address and their phone number is going to scroll down yeah, on the screen just screen. now. Yeah. Beautiful location. Yeah. Great food and uh, just a wonderful place for you to take your lover, your wife. And go and do some love language. Yeah, yeah right there. Beautiful. Yeah. If you want to swim, there's a swimming pool. Yeah. They do great cakes, great food. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, to to Urban Yard yeah, for yeah. letting us be in your the space. Management. I don't want to mention names because they didn't give us the rights to talk <laughs> about their names. So we can. That's a beautiful location. That's a beautiful, beautiful location. Uh, I would encourage men to think about going. Yeah. To Urban Yard yeah. and taking your take your wife there. Going to have some some fantastic. You want pizza? You can see them making it. It's fantastic. It's a nice place. Open kitchen. Open kitchen. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's your most prominent love language? Uh, for me, it's words of affirmation. Um, and touch you. I love this. You too. like you like your echo massage. The echo massage with uh, uh, affirmations and uh, um, proper touch. You know where you you, you know it, 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 there's no harm in you recognizing when I'm with you. You, you don't have to be very far away. So there has to be that. Yeah. 
So that little touch yeah. helps a lot. Yeah. Apart from the touch, the words of affirmation every day. Tell me I look yeah. handsome. Yeah. Tell me Tete, Tete made me look nice. Yeah. Okay, we 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 coming to you from Tete uh, uh, end of me. Tete, I don't, I, don't I look handsome? Good. Don't I look handsome? Actually, and this awesome? space that you're seeing here yeah, where yeah. we are seated, this yeah. is this is Tete uh, Wine and Groom. It's yeah. a beautiful barber shop in North Mead. In North Mead. And their contact number will scroll on yeah. the screen so yeah. that you can call them. And the address, we will we'll yeah. give you the address right at the bottom of the screen so that you can go and have your hair cut. Steve, what is your prominent love? Now, I'm going to do this. You want to run away from uh, me. Come what on, is your I prominent love? I, I can't forget. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll uh, to be sincere, and, and yeah, I think this is, yeah. this is, this is uh, common to most men. I think mine is touch. Touch, okay. Absolutely. You love like touch, touch. Yeah, but not, not necessarily. Yeah, you yeah. should see it. I'm, you, got, you come to my house, you see how my kids are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always hugging uh, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. They've learnt it from me. Exactly. They pick it from me. That's how it is. Uh, you know, touch, hold your hand, you know, mm-hmm. and stuff. Like hold your lover's hand. Mm-hmm. Give hugs. Have you, have you learnt your, uh, your wife's hand? Absolutely, yeah. but I'm not so, going to say it. No, no, say it. I I'm, wanna... I'm not going to say it. Why not? No, 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 no. I didn't get permission from her. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but also affirmation works for me. Acts of service also yeah. do work for me. Uh, for me, acts of service also really matter. You know, we live a very busy life. I'm yeah. extremely busy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and sometimes just helping me pick the bag, yeah. you know, that, that just touches me. Different because because I'm an independent kind of a person. Yeah, yeah. I can lift all my gear. Mm. You know, I can lift everything. I can do everything on my own. Yeah. You know, I, I don't complain about working. But when someone steps in and gives a hand, ah, and tells you, you, you know, you, you, yeah, you, you, just you, lifts you, a bag. For you're you. a good husband. Yeah, just hard, lifts a bag for you. Bag you feel like you're going to buy them chocolate or something. Because, so, guys, Stephen, thank you so much, viewers. Yeah. It's been wonderful. Mm-hmm. This has been uh, a sweet. And to the point kind of a program and I hope you like the new touch to the program yeah. where we're going to different locations so that you can enjoy what men do enjoy. Okay. Very soon you will see us in the national park, maybe you see us at the golf course. Yeah. Maybe you see us in church doing yeah, a yeah. show from yeah. church. I don't exactly, know. Exactly. But you will see us where men like to go. Yeah. So this has been Men's, uh, men's talk, show. talk show for men and the women that love us. So see you in exactly seven see minutes. You, see you next week. Yeah. Good night. Nice Talk show for men and the women that love them.